Hey there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and this is a random look at my Franken bike. Uh, we'll start off out here on the boat. It's one of those terrible rainy days. Um, so basically, this is the situation I'm currently in. So I had to catch the bus out to my friend's house where my bike, but not my front wheel was. Uh, steal the front wheel off her bike, put it onto mine, so I then had a full functioning bike again. This front wheel that I wanted was actually on the front of the boat here, so I had to ride about three miles down the canal to get here. So now, I'm just holding out for a little bit of good weather, which won't come. Then I'll hurtle back to town on this, which will be about another eight miles, put a new back wheel on, new cassette, and well, I'll let you know how it goes when we get there. So, you may know that this is not my normal place to be filming, as there's bikes currently everywhere over at my house. I've had to enlist the storage space of my nan and granddad. So, here we have the finished Franken bike, as I like to call it. So, let's have a quick look at it in general. Um, first things first, I sprayed this, but I'll probably change that at some point. New handlebar grips, I did have some little bullhorn bar ends on the end here but I've got rid of those as this has turned into far more of a casual bike and I won't be, well hopefully won't be hammering it and doing any proper hard biking on this. Um, both of the wheels are new, I sprayed them both orange myself. The tyres I added are, well as you can see, slicks, so that makes them a lot easier to ride on the roads with. Obviously once you start hitting some very muddy towpaths, you uh, do sometimes think, hmm, I wish I had a little bit more grip. Uh, the pedals are broken, so I've got pink and orange pedals as replacement. I've removed the front gears, so I've still got the cogs on here, or sprockets rather, but I haven't got anything to change them with, but I never really do. Uh, the back wheel I had to replace because, well, the old one, seen over there, was utterly buckled and in fact one of the spokes had broken so it wasn't really fixable, well certainly not for the sake of just getting a new one. Um, also got a new sprocket cassette at the back here, these are different sizes to the previous ones, so that'll be interesting to see how I get along. Um, I would say, yeah, new seat as well, finally, after about 13 years of switching around the seat that I did put on here. Um, random fact, half of my boat is in this wood at the background here. <laughs> the most important, personally, I think. Quick release on the front, quick release on the back. So when I'm on the boat, that means obviously I'm going to be able to quickly snap the wheels off. And, well, you can see how much smaller that makes the general footprint of this bike to the store. And, well, as you've seen, Tilly isn't the biggest boat in the world. And being able to, like I say, take off front and back wheels. So, basically, you've got the frame and then the wheels can go on top of it. And there's a lot more storage possibilities for it then. Um, yeah, so, that is the Dan Brown Franken bike. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos, I've got loads of biking stuff online, uh, I've got a lot of chest mounted camera videos as well of me biking around all sorts of places and in fact on one bike hitting 60 miles an hour, so check out that, subscribe for more and well, I'll see you around soon. Until the next time, have a great day and well, farewell.